somebody come to the dance floor come to the back door wax on your wax off okay so here you can see where a beaver was actually eating on the tree so these are all the uh oh it's really muddy so these are all the stuff from where the beaver was chewing around the tree here it's pretty cool those guys have a hell of a cheese it's crazy it's really trying to take this whole tree down it's all the way around here but um it's really slippery but i'm gonna go see if i can find myself some uh, some wood chop it up and build a, a fire for one okay i'm gonna head down there and see what i can find Ah, wow, that was definitely, that was definitely something, really slippery down there. Pan fried chicken, Jamaican style. It's gonna cut out the back of the chicken here. So I just take this part of the chicken out, okay? Once we do that now, we're just gonna clean off a couple of the fat parts off the chicken. Yeah. See, this all here is all fat. This is all fat. So the knife that I'm using here, this is the um, BK-16. This knife is incredible. It's really, really sharp. It's probably one of my favorite out of all the other knives right now. So once you open up the chicken like that, it's gonna flip them over, spread them so, The seasoning that I'm using is the Jamaican style, roasted garlic and all that is gonna be inside here. So this is um, Cool Runnings. Are you done now? Jamaican style. What you want to do, you just want to get it all up in there. It's going to burn out the spot a little bit. Okay. So you take all the seasoning, make sure you get it in all the parts of the chicken here. Just gotta rub it up all in there. So what I like to do as well, I like to just make some holes in the chicken so the seasoning goes all up in there, okay? Cut off the chicken butt right here. Turn it over. I like my chicken well seasoned, <laughs> as you can't tell by now. Okay, so you're gonna get that all up in there. It's gonna put some oil in the pot so that burns while the seasoning just sits there for a little bit.
So the, the knife that I'm using now is a BK-16. This is amazing for food preparation. As you can see, I'm not really the best at slicing onions, but this knife does a um, tremendous job. It just slides right through it, no problem. Okay. Uh, as I said, I'm not really the best at sli slicing onions professionally. But, um, here we go. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the um, the oil to get hot before I throw the chicken in, I'm just going to show you guys a few knives that I purchased recently. This is the BK-16 by K-Bar. This knife is absolutely amazing. I used it to clean the chicken, it cuts the fat off really good, and um, used it to dice up some onions, and it did the job amazing. Like So this would be the knife to go to, to do all your preparations on the food or around, okay? And then after that... I got the BK9, so this one I'm going to use to chop up a few wood, show you guys how it works. So this knife, with like the handle and everything I may change because it does feel kind of slippery in your hand. But other than that, this knife's amazing. And then also, what I did get as well, is the, um, the Rat 7 by Ontario Knives. This knife, sorry the handle's a bit wet, but um, this knife here is it's amazing. Like it's, it feels good in your hand. I don't know if it's because of the handle, but it feels really good in your hand to cut and stuff with, okay? So I'm going to show you guys a few things that you can do with the knife and um, see how it goes, all right? Easy. Easy, easy, easy. So that was the BK9. Now I'm gonna try the Rat 7. See how this bad boy handles. Okay, so the Rat 7 just went through a joint. That was a tough joint that it went through. It took some effort, but it went right through it. Okay. Easy.
guess so. So after a good day of bushcrafting, I'm cooking up the other half of the chicken right now. I made myself a cup of tea. I lit another fire. I'm gonna go lie down over there after. But uh, a good shot of honey. Always good for the soul. That's how we do it around here. You gonna meet somebody. Now you wanna bust out this little wine? Go yeah.